Hello to everyone. Uh, I, um, I'm Ivana Tsarevic. I work at the Department of Material, uh, University of Zagreb, Faculty of Civil Engineer. And here I will try, uh, in 15 minutes, try to briefly summarize um, how uh, uh, the waste management hierarchy, uh, how can waste be declared as secondary resource, and also I will give you some results uh, that we have uh, about contamination level in Dugirat. So I will start. We all agree that uh, the, um, the worst case scenario that we can do for our waste is just put it in the, in the nature without any control. So I, I, I assume that you all agree that that is the worst uh, case scenario for our, for our and for the nature. But still, uh, uh, unfortunately, we have some pictures like uh, this. Uh, people throw uh, their trash in the nature. Uh, these are pictures from my neighborhood that I um, took during my walking, my, during my cycle. And um, as said yesterday, during the, this emotional speech given by uh, person Ivana uh, that lives in Dugirat. This is the worst case scenario because people have to be aware that uh, contaminants for the, uh, for the waste are, uh, can go in the ground and they, they can uh, contaminate our water that we are drinking. They can contaminate the soil that we are planting our uh, uh, um, plants and that we are eating. And also they can be um, uh, by the wind, uh, there, is, there can be this, uh, uh, dispersions of uh, micro uh, particles that can, they can be breathed and they also have a negative influence on our health. So uh, it is recommended not to do illegal uh, disposal, but still we have this uh, uh, problem issue in Croatia. Uh, so this uh, waste... Uh, um, uh, waste management is covered under European Union, a so-called Waste Framework Directive, and this is visually how is the theory of the waste should be done, management of the waste should be done. First, uh, on the, on the, this is like um, a rotated pyramid, and what is on the top, it is most wanted to, to do with the waste. And in the top, uh, in the bottom, you can see that unleashed wanted uh, waste management is disposal. Um, what does it mean, prevention? That means during our project design, during the project design of our houses, during the project design of the product, we have to have in mind that we can uh, on, not only product, uh, uh, that we have only production of the product, but uh, during the production of the product, the, the generation uh, of waste can occur. And we have to think what to do with this waste. Usually, since I work at the Department of Material, uh, the, uh, during this stage, uh, nobody thinks uh, when they build a house or facility or something, factory, they, uh, and this can be very, uh, a very big financial burden during production. And they, uh, usually uh, this factory comes to us and asks us what to do with the waste. Um, okay, I don't know what happened. After that, we have reuse, recycle, and recovery. Also, this waste from uh, framework directive gives you target for some waste streams that we, as a member state, are obligated to achieve. We have targets for, for some waste streams like construction demolition waste. And we don't, we, if we don't meet the targets, we have to pay. And this is also very important for you to know. Um, uh, this waste framework directive is implemented into our system in Croatia law. It is called Waste Management Act. Uh, also, um, as I said, we have a targets that we have to meet. And um, usually I wanted to share with you that uh, every waste has his own unique number, six digital code number. It, uh, and European has, uh, as uh, also in Croatia, European waste catalog, catalog where you have more than 80, uh, 80 hundred uh, different type of waste. And depending, and you, uh, here in this slide, uh, you can, I will not go uh, in the detail how, uh, how you can find 
which type of this waste is, but um, uh, this is for the supervision of, a waste, of the waste, to track uh, how is waste management, did we achieve this goal, and what are the amount of waste that we generate um, as a people or in the factory and so on. So, as first we had prevention, then we had like uh, the second options uh, in this uh, pyramid, we had re reuse, recycle, recovery. And in order uh, to waste bec to become uh, uh, as a secondary resource, it is called end of waste a criteria. And uh, this is uh, defined in our law system under this regulation on uh, end of waste. It is a renewed, uh, renewed document uh, from this year. And um, all, usually uh, when uh, some companies come to us and they say, oh, just put this waste in a concrete and everything will be uh, fine. No, you have to, before that, you have to um, uh, do technical and environmental assessment and prove that this product, new product, first uh, will have the same quality uh, that the product without waste, that uh, then you have to um, satisfy the technical assessment, and also you have to prove that uh, this product with the waste is safe for the use. Uh, and here on this table, I show some of the possibilities of use in the construction sector. And for example, if you want to use it as an uh, aggregate in concrete paving, pavings, you have to satisfy the technical requirements. If you, 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 you want to sell the product that is the same quality as the usual one. And also in Croatia, okay, I don't know. Uh, also, you have to uh, also um, do the safe, uh, the environmental assessment. As, uh, this, um, in this regulation, uh, we, ho we only have requirements for the uh, uh, aggregate, not on, uh, for or any uh, different type of waste. Uh, as Mariana said also before, there are some uh, countries, they are developed and matured, they have a higher maturity of waste management and they cover this reuse, recycle uh, area uh, of using waste as secondary resource. And uh, here I gave you an example, um, it, it also has a standards where you can check your safe environmental safety uh, on the real product. There, you, on this, by applying this test, for example, uh, you, can, you can get the curve and you can also predict how this product will be, uh, uh, behave after 100 years. And there you can also say, okay, I can use this product for the example or not, uh, for, um, for using for uh, in, um, uh, construction of a tank for water supply system, for example. And um, this, um, um, for example, Netherlands has a very good regulation on this. They, they also have criteria for this kind of testing. And uh, they are very, um, I know before this soil quality regulation, they had building quality regulation, and this soil quality regulation is even stricter than the, uh, that regulation before. Okay, as said, not, uh, and not all waste can be used as, uh, as secondary resource. Pr uh, first, you have to prove that it can be used. If not, it should be landfilled. And this is under European, uh, we have a law, landfill directive, and I ha highlighted some of the things, for, uh, some of the acts from this landfill directive that landfill should be monitored and managed to prevent or reduce potential effects on the environment and risk to human health during the whole life cycle of the landfill. What does it mean? You have to monitor that you are landfilling your waste in that manner that it, has, uh, it, it doesn't have any risk on the, uh, on the, on the uh, environment, not only during um, working of that landfill, but also after the closing. If you have to, uh, if your mountain is too big, you have to close it, and uh, there is also um, uh, on the European level that um, this is the, un the most unwanted uh, um, uh, type of waste management to disposal. 
And this waste disposal is um, regulated by regulation of waste landfills in Croatia. We have regulation for that. I don't know what is happening. And this regulation sets a criteria for waste acceptance. It gives emission limits and concentration level if we want to uh, dispose of our waste, uh, how to monitor, how to construct our landfill. Uh, each waste has to be tested. And here are some um, standards that are also on the Euro European level. Uh, uh, how many amounts of uh, examples do you have to uh, take uh, of frequency of the testing and uh, testing um, uh, methods? And based on, the, uh, and based on these, uh, these results, we have three types of waste, let's say. Hazard, non-hazard, and inert waste. And uh, based on these results, uh, not, uh, uh, and on a land, a different land building um, uh, construction and different monitoring um, uh, of um, a landfill should be done. It is not the same if we put on the landfill hazard waste or if we put in it, uh, in it waste. We saw in the, um, Norway at Noah Company, they are very, very specialized in uh, treatment or collecting all the hazard waste, not only from Norway, but from uh, Denmark and the Swe Sweden. And they, were, they have very strict uh, regulation and monitoring of these sites be be because this island uh, could have a, a very uh, high risk on the environment if something happens. And finally, this is only briefly uh, to know uh, how uh, waste management is done and should be done, uh, which are the hierarchy and what, uh, uh, what regulation uh, to focus on. Um, now we have here, as, uh, uh, as we yesterday saw, former uh, ferro alloy factory in Dugirat. It has total, it, it is approximation that is there. It is uh, in total uh, one million and a half uh, material, uh, cubic meter of material on uh, more than uh, 2,000 uh, meters square. That's approximately like 21 uh, uh, field, football fields. Uh, if, but you saw how big is it. And um, these, are, these are the summary for, from our knowledge, what we have collected. Uh, uh, what testing has been done for, uh, so far, and um, a number of examples. We, sh we, uh, we saw a number of examples and testing what, uh, uh, from Norway experience, and this is uh, what we uh, have so far, so far in, uh, in Croatia. And you can see there are different testing um, uh, parameters that were tested, reactivity, heavy metals, and, and I will also show you uh, the new tests that were done uh, one year ago, uh, there were only five locations and uh, five sub-samples at each location, and these are results. Based, uh, based only on these results and uh, from uh, visual inspection that we had yesterday, we can see that these samples, are very, uh, that the area is very heterogeneous. And uh, from um, our suggestion that uh, this, uh, there is a small number of examples and um, uh, they are also not only uh, heterogeneous uh, visually, but also uh, it, you, could, you could see yesterday a different fraction material. So different fraction means, uh, it doesn't mean that if you have one type uh, like material slag, it doesn't mean that it will be behave the similar, uh, the bigger fraction or the smaller one, or like uh, we have a dust. And um, I think uh, this, is, this is it that I wanted to say. And also, I, as before, uh, presented before, I wanted to highlight it uh, that we um, got Norway uh, recommendation that they follow for uh, the remediation of contamination level. And this is also available on our uh, website. It is translated. Aha, uh -huh, what I forgot to say. Um, when you, um, uh, you can compare these results on, um, on the way how you are going to um, uh, use this uh, waste. 
you cannot, um, you cannot, if you want to use it, is what I wanted to say. If you want to use it in, in agriculture, then you have to compare these results with requirements for use in agriculture. If you want to use it in, uh, as a waste, or we, but, uh, 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 but we have this way, uh, 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 proposal from uh, Norway region, but then uh, since we have, uh, don't know any, we don't have any regulation for that. And the main conclusion from this uh, presentation would be uh, it, uh, to ensure that waste is used as, as a valuable secondary resource, we have to do technical and health testing um, and um, to prove that they uh, satisfy the requirements uh, if we want to use it. Uh, if uh, the waste cannot be used as secondary resource, you can also have good cooperation with the science. Then we, have, we can um, also, with the different uh, testing, we can um, tell you uh, the, the, does this material need another uh, treatment or what to do with this kind of waste. Or uh, finally, if, uh, any, uh, if we don't know what to do and it is very contaminated, it can be uh, landfilled, but this has to be in accordance with the regulation. Uh, it, this is crucial for protecting the environment, public health and surrounding community. So this is it.